guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, we will learn how to create a mood board of your own for your new home. Are you ready? Let's get to it! Sometimes, having to plan for a theme for your own house may not be as easy as you think. Putting inspirations together can help you better see if your color schemes or materials go well together. A mood board is a collection of inspirational images and materials that inspires you to complete a design, regardless of the type of design that you're doing. Think of it as a tool to help you visualize the room or the project that you're working on before you do it. It's easier to illustrate what you want to your interior designer this way. From here, you can start discussing area by area. It is recommended to already have a layout plan to save time on compiling the inspirational images together. For example, if you want an industrial space with a hint of a tropical theme, you should look for a picture that will represent that mood. My first step would be to go to Pinterest and type in concrete texture to find the best presentation of concrete to me. Then I'll just copy and paste it in my workspace here. I've chosen my preferred texture, but I think it's too bulky. So I want to soften it up a little bit by cropping it into a circle under the Picture Tools format. Finally, you can select whatever shape you like by clicking on the crop function again and adjusting your circle to the preferred size. If you would like to adjust the size, go to the Design tab, select Slide Size, and find the Custom Slide Size option to put in whatever dimensions that you want. To guide you, I will use this image of a beautiful sofa with a grey background. Now, I like my images to be perfectly cropped, so we will change its background to something I prefer. Now that you already know the basics of compiling using PowerPoint, I'm going to share with you a trick that saved my life when I didn't have Adobe Photoshop. It is to remove a picture with a background that you don't want, like this picture. So firstly, select the picture. Then, Go to the Picture Format tab and select Remove the Background. And with that, you are able to remove the background and keep the sofa. Let me give you another example. Let's say I want to add this image but I don't want the background because I've already put my interest in concrete here. So what should I do? I will do the exact same thing as I thought to you earlier. Go to the Picture Format tab and Remove Background. If you want to keep some of the parts covered by the bright pink shade, click Mark Areas to be Covered and shade the areas you want to keep. This works the same as the Mark Areas to be Removed button, where you shade areas you don't want to keep. This allows you to choose which portion of the picture you want to be removed and which part to be kept in. When you're happy with what it looks like, click Keep Changes. After this, your image will not have a background, but the image size will still be the same. If you prefer it to be smaller or bigger, crop it as you see fit and you're good to continue. From here, you can also drag out colors that you think might suit the mood board theme. I am going to pick a rectangle to show you as an example. In the Insert tab, select Shapes and select the Rectangle option. Drag it to form a rectangle. To put your image in front of the rectangle, right-click the subject image, which is the sofa, and choose the Bring to Front option. Don't worry about the color of the shape for now, you can easily change it with the eyedropper tool. After selecting the rectangle, find the Shape Fill option under the Shape Format tab. Select Fill Colors and look for the eyedropper tool. Hover it around the sofa image. You'll notice the different shades of colors from the image and you can choose any four you like. For me, 
I like to choose two lights and two darks. I think that this is the right amount of contrast and balance for this mood board. To remove the outline, select the arrow down beside the Shape Outline button and click No Outline. Now try to do three more. Feel free to pick and choose the colors and don't be afraid to play around with the different colors from the eyedropper tool. As aesthetic as it looks, I think the colors are a little dull for the vibe that I'm going for. So what I'm gonna do is to play around with the saturation, brightness, and contrast of this photo. To do this, go to the Picture Format tab. Click the arrow down beside Color and select Picture Color Options. You will have this entire window where you have saturation and color tone presets to adjust the picture properties. To increase temperature or the saturation, drag the line to the right. However, for this mood board, we will only adjust the temperature to achieve a warmer tone. Now that we're done with color schemes and saturations, we can proceed to make your mood board more presentable by rearranging them. Let's include more images to portray what we want to achieve today. Try using Pinterest if you have not, as it gives you the best designs as close to what you're looking for. Now, I want to change it up and bring the four main colors to the left. Let's move the sofa here to the middle and enlarge it just a little. The concrete will go slightly lower and I will also minimize it like this. For this concept, I want to portray a warm, comfortable living space. To me, having a tall mirror brings me that feeling of comfort. You can use the Remove Background tool we learned earlier for each of the images you add into the mood board. Throwing in a little greens will definitely bring life to your mood board. I will also add a mid-century lounge chair to encourage socializing for the living space that I want. Adding a rug will stimulate a chill and relaxing area. When planning to have a rug, don't be afraid to go for contrasting colors. But if you're planning to use the same rug for future home renovations, sticking with a nude colored rug will be the best choice for you. Finally, let's add a mini potted plant. Doesn't this mood board make you feel homey already? Here's the last finishing touches, and we're done! Basically, just learn to have fun with the software and you'll get it in no time. How does this mood board make you feel? Comment down below what type of concept you want for your own mood board. And do tell us what else you would like to learn next! Remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when we'll post our next lesson. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye!